to WCA Extra. This is our uh, live jet streaming show kicking off. Well, now around 9.22. Uh, I'm going to just get our Laura Ullman on the horn uh, this morning to, to talk just a little briefly about the uh, Senate debate we actually hosted last night in our studio, WCA studio um, as well. So, Laura, thank, first of all, thanks for, for hopping on this morning. Thanks for having me, John. Sorry you were a little late, but I'm excited to be here. Great. Um, so, you know, jumping right into it, we had, you know, Ger Gerald Malloy, Bernie Sanders up for the Senate seat here in Vermont last night. Uh, a lot of uh, some disagreements, some agreements as well, you know, agreeing on defense spending, uh, cuts, you know, the border and, of course, their families, uh, and disagreeing on climate change, abortion, and among other things. So kind of instead of just diving right into those issues, um, kind of just talk about first, um, you know, some surprises last night. So anything that, um, you know, kind of unexpected going into, into the debate. Yeah. I mean, I done a little bit of my research on who the candidates were and Gerald Malloy, um, West Point graduate has military experience, um, and does a lot of defense department of defense contracting, um, and has worked in the field. And he said he wanted to cut military spending. He said specifically, uh, in the Navy and just given his history, that did surprise me. Absolutely. And, um, you know, what I ask a lot of, um, I don't know why I'm having problems with this desk today, but uh, a, lot of, a lot of our reporters really with any of their stories is stuff that was anything that was left out on the federal floor because, you know, a lot of times with the deadlines and everything else, uh, you can't fit everything. So, you know, I, we watched your recap this morning. Um, anything that you felt that, um, that just didn't make the, uh, the cut there? I did love how Kat and Darren asked the question to Sanders and Malloy, who is your role model? And Malloy gave a very heartening answer that his wife was tied with his mother, which uh, got a chuckle from Sanders and uh, lots of smiles in the studio. And he uh, spoke about uh, what it meant for his history and his family um, to sort of influence how he shows up to the campaign. Um, and Sanders said that his role model was Martin Luther King Jr. And uh, that just surprises me a little bit because uh, I know Martin Luther King Jr. to be sort of like a moderate man. And um, he, the way that MLK Jr. showed up um, when he was advocating for civil rights was sort of in a way that was to please as many people to get his cause advanced as far as he could, where I feel like Sanders is somebody who's not really like that. So that that was a surprise and also something that I left out that I just thought was really interesting. Yeah. Um, Oh, yeah, absolutely. And Laura, again, um, this was, you know, last night's debate, you know, first one for U.S. Senate, you know, next on Tuesday, the 29th, we have our governor's debate. And then Wednesday, the 30th is the debate for the lieutenant governor as well. Just kind of plugging those dates along. I'm having some video playback problems. So if you want to see Laura's recap uh, or, or any of our, our, you know, campaign countdown coverage and the like, of course, you can see that on WCAX.com. Um, but Laura, thanks yeah, for having us. Well, right. Come to our debates. Yeah. Um, WCAX forever and ever. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, thanks so thanks. much for, for having on this morning. And uh, again, just for some uh, additional insight. Yeah. Thanks, awesome. John. Thank you. Yeah, that was uh, our Laura Ullman. And there's Peter <laughs> sneaking up behind me. So, um, Peter, as far as this weekend goes, um, we are kind of falling back to some, some fall weather here. Yeah, back to actual fall weather here as yeah. we head through the uh, yeah the upcoming weekend, even a bit cooler than where we are for the day today and even yesterday where we were for temperatures. I just want to show you the temperatures out there right now, 30s and 40s to start off. Well, we're going to see these climb back into the 50s here as we head towards this afternoon. Satellite Raiders scanning things dry across the region. Here's how we shape up for the rest of the day today. Plenty of sunshine out there. A few more clouds gradually begin to fill in here as we head towards this afternoon, this evening. But otherwise, really the vast majority of the day today going to feature a good amount of sunshine. Into the night tonight, there is the chance of a few rain showers. Basically few and far between, though. Into the day tomorrow, I think we start off the day dry, get a little bit of midday sunshine going. But as we head towards tomorrow evening we get in on another cold front here this will knock down our temperatures even further as we head into the day on sunday comes with a few rain showers even a few mountain snow showers possible here saturday evening and saturday night into the day on sunday looks like most of us start off the day dry but again the chance that a few scattered rain showers and mountain snow showers here as we head into the second half of the day 
for the day on Sunday. Weekend forecast wise, not looking too bad, but there is a chance that a few rain showers and mountain snow showers here for both weekend days for Saturday and Sunday, but neither of them will wash out by any means. But take a look at what that cold front does to our temperatures here for the day on Sunday. T today and tomorrow, we're talking daytime highs in the 50s. We roll around to Sunday. I think it's kind of a cool, cloudy, raw day out there with daytime highs stuck in the 40s here for most of us come Sunday afternoon. First, layer forecast here for the rest of the day today. Today looking to be a pretty nice fall day out there, warm and sunny. Temperatures climbing back into the mid and upper 50s, a few lower 60s possible right along that massive. Massachusetts state border. Tonight, overnight lows, they'll fall back into the mid and upper 30s and lower 40s out there. Those clouds helping to keep us a bit warmer here through the course of the night tonight and into your day tomorrow. Again, chances of a few rain showers, a few mountain snow showers, especially as we head towards tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. Temperatures back into the 50s here for daytime highs for your day tomorrow. Now look at that seven-day forecast. Again, Sunday cooler as well as Monday on the cooler side. But we start to rebound once again here as we head towards the middle portions of next week, Tuesday. I think most of us back into the 50s. Chance of a few rain showers here for Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday back into the 60s. And yeah, maybe some of us even making a run towards that 70-degree mark once again here for Wednesday and Thursday. The outside chance, it may be a few passing rain showers, especially later in the day on Thursday, but that's still a week out, John, so nothing yeah. that we're going to put our money on quite yet. No, no, of course not, Peter. And, um, yeah, I think people are getting their pumpkins together, of yep. course. Winooski's uh, Rotary Circle has yes. their display going out this weekend. Yes, a lot of pumpkins um, out there. I know, very, very impressive. Yep. Uh, I think that was right when I first got here last year. Actually. Yeah. It was like kind of my first intro to that yeah and you probably saw them all huh yeah it was great i think it's my first uh couple of weeks i was in a airbnb yep so it's yeah. great uh, of course if you have any pictures like that please send them in we love them absolutely and um peter will show them off in the weather so yep sweet i think that mind uh some technical problems today part <laughs> apologies for that but uh in mind we'll uh let you guys go come back to your day and you can see peter and i in a couple hours yep all of our content on wcax.com of course our camping countdown coverage uh, if you want to catch the uh, debate from last night as well. Uh, that in mind, we'll let you guys go and get on with it.